Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mohsin. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the BLS, Basic Life Sport. This is one of the most common teaching stations in OSCE exams. So we'll be teaching this student. First of all, we need to explain what is BLS. BLS basically means lungs or heart stop working. We do BLS to restore their function. Now how to do the BLS? We'll ask the student to remember a simple mnemonic that is T-R-A-B-C. What is D here? If we notice somebody is not able to breathe, unconscious, first of all we need to make sure he's, there is no danger around means your safety is the first priority. You need to make sure there is no fire around, there is no electricity around, no sharp objects and it is not around any big road. After making sure there is no danger around, next you need to check for the response. You will ask, hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello, are you alright? Then tap on the shoulder, if there is no response. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. If there is no response and no danger around, next you will call for the help. If somebody is around you. Help, help, help in all three directions. Next you will check for the airway. How to check the airway? You will be doing a maneuver that is head tilt, chin lift. Normally we will be tilting the head like this, lifting the chin like this and make sure not to put pressure on soft part of chin. Open the mouth, look for any foreign body and lips swelling, tongue swelling, any tongue fall back and if there is something inside, make hook with your little finger, take that out. Next is breathing. So how to check the breathing, you will go close to the casualty and look for any chest movements, listen for any breathing sounds and also feel for any breathing on your cheeks. So look, feel and listen. If there is no breathing, next you will be checking for this circulation, the pulse. Feel for the carotid pulse and one pulse at one time. Next, if there is no pulse, you need to call for help. Call triple nine. If somebody is around, ask them to call. Otherwise, call triple nine. Put your phone on speaker and start doing the CPR. All right. So let them know that you have unconscious patient and ask them to bring the defibrillator as well. So how do the chest compressions? Place your dominant hand on lower one third of the chest, then non-dominant hand, interlock fingers of both the hands, straighten your elbows, then start doing the chest compressions. So you will be doing at the depth of 6 cm and it would be 100 to 120. And give 30 chest compressions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, up till 30 and then give 2 rescue breaths alright so ratio would be 30 into 2 how to give the rescue breaths make head till chin lift position pinch the nose and make a tight seal with casualty mouth and give 2 rescue breaths 1 breath in 1 second and look for the chest rise after that keep doing it until help arrives if you notice any sign of life or he got exhausted so student can ask you this question when to stop so you need to tell him if you notice any signs of life if help arrives or if you got exhausted next thing he can ask you as well there is a risk of a rib fracture you need to tell him for now it is important to save the life of the casualty this is basic about the adult bls that is trabc danger response no danger no response call for help if somebody is around then check for airway breathing circulation no breathing, no circulation, call for help the triple nine and start on the chest compressions. Ratio would be 13 to 2, depth would be 6 centimeters. All right, and, and rate would be 100 to 120 per minute. After that, now I'm going to discuss a bit about the pediatric PLS. We'll be dividing into two groups one is from birth to one year infants and from one year beyond. So, uh, we will in pediatric, we'll always start with five rescue breaths. You see any child not able to breathe, unconscious, you will always start with 5 rescue breaths. So in up till 1 year, how to give the rescue breaths in periods? You will be keeping the head in neutral position and you will be covering both the nose and the mouth. Alright, both the nose and the mouth and then, then give 5 rescue breaths. After that, up till 1 year, you will be giving chest compressions with your two thumbs like this. All right, and depth would be four centimeters, or with your two fingers. So up till one year, give five rescue breaths, and then fifteen chest compressions, and then two rescue breaths, and continue this until help arrives. All right. So next is from one year to twelve years. So in 
one year to 12 years you will be giving chest compressions with your one hand and again starting with 5 rest cube rest and then 15 to 2 ratio and depth will be 5 years so up to one year depth is 4 centimeters from one year to beyond is 5 and in adults it is 6 centimeter so and here uh, from one year beyond rest cube rest would be same with you giving adults so this is all from the PLS thank you so much